after October 7th, the army recruited thousands of settlers who then served locally. So someone like Moshe Sharvit, who was just sanctioned by the Biden administration, uh, he had had his outpost uh, since uh, for, for several years and had been documented, uh, you know, dispersing the flocks of local Palestinians, you know, pressuring the Palestinians around his outpost to move away. Then after October 7th, he becomes a, a soldier. And, you know, then he is showing up at houses of some of these people uh, threatening to kill them if they don't leave. So uh, 12 families left. And I heard this over and over again from Palestinians that they, you know, especially people who had been directly under pressure from settlers before October 7th, they then just days after October 7th start seeing the same people in, in military uniform. So, you know, the line between settlers and the army virtually disappeared after October 7th.